Fresh Gaming presents. Table, just make sure you bring the pay. Too boy. much sauce, how I rock. Watch me drip out the lot. Me and Cuz at the spot, rolling pot, loading shots. Got a lot from the block, put in work, then I shop. If you What's up, everyone? It is your gamer, Val Cash, your host for the Poe show of the Xbox showcase. I'm here with, obviously, you know, the best gamer of Chicago, Marmar7. Okay, first, let's, let's, let's be correct here. Am I the best gamer in Chicago? No. I am the Beast King of Chicago. So let's, let's, let's go ahead and get all the formalities out the way. Hello, guys. If you don't know, I am Marlon Morgan, a.k.a. Marmar7, the Beast King of Chicago, uh, all-around gamer, commentator. And um, uh, I am also the troll account of Yeetus Deletus on uh, Destiny. So thank you very much for having me on here, Val. Uh, thank you for you know joining me again. Um, so, as we did, as we discussed before the show, you asked me if the um, Halo was gonna open up, and it did. And yeah. I was unsure because you know honestly I didn't want to predict that because I I don't like being wrong sometimes. You know I'm gonna be honest, I don't like being wrong. But it could have been it could have been anything. You know I honestly thought it was gonna start off with the price of the console. Yeah. But it didn't. I, so. I, I can see that. I mean, I know I knew they were gonna do that because they they've been saying all week that all they're showing is just games, nothing else, no business, no extra stuff for the console, no nothing else, just games. I so, can conquer that. They show yeah. the console again, but they showed inside the console, which is pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I like the uh, whole prop because I was curious how what was inside it. Honestly, like I wasn't too sure if it was just a bunch of wires everywhere, you know. But it looked like. The pieces is all together, and it seems like it's real simple to disable too. If that's the way how you could disable it, the way how they showed it, so. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Uh, to, as far as I'm concerned, it's it's just a, a a small tower that's a PC, so you'd be capable of playing games that are gonna be slightly stronger than what we're capable of playing. So I mean that 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 tiny little showcase of that of of the console was wasn't really much. It wasn't really doing anything for me anyway. But uh, yeah, as soon as they started off, man, they started off with the big guns. And obviously, what does that mean? You start off with what literally launched the Xbox, and that's Halo. You know, and um, let, let me ask you first, like, as a person who's a PlayStation player who does enjoy a game like Halo, uh, how did you feel about the whole presentation for that? Um, I feel like, you know, like, the way how I felt for the, uh, the old show that we both watched at the Microsoft Store when they presented uh, Gears 5. I was yeah, honestly yeah. hyped for that, and for this one, I'm definitely gonna play it. Um, I'm hyped for it too, and I'm definitely gonna play it on PC. And I honestly wonder. I'm more curious about the multiplayer. The story mode was all right. Um, obviously, I I can't really say too much because I don't think I played the part for the story mode, so I, I don't know how Katana decided to uh go on that side and then for her to actually i don't think no they didn't show her so i wonder if uh how this story is gonna be well for me as a person who's played halo since literally the beginning all the way up to now what the campaign demos shown me these these are the things i was looking out for the user interface, the way how it looks when you start the game, you're walking around with the gun, the size of the gun, the way I like, just how the field of view is. I look for stuff like that. So I immediately caught on to what kind of look it was. Uh, I enjoy the aesthetic. I do like the sound of the guns. They actually sound beefier, uh, which is great. It was, it took more of a militaristic turn rather than kind of having like weird as I would say about Halo 5, they were like Power Ranger weapon type guns <laughs> to me. Oh, as yeah, a matter wow. of fact, like Halo 5 Guardians is literally Halo 5 Power Rangers. That's... Other than the fact that I did enjoy Halo 5's multiplayer, I did not like the story. What they're doing with the story here, they're putting you back on a Halo ring. 
Um, seems like they are retconning a lot of stuff. And the way how they're doing it, they're kind of fast forwarding what happened. Like you don't see what happened in the whole war. Uh, from what we know, we, you don't see the war. Oh, and right. um, they they kind of like because remember it was like oh it's been 167 days since uh, since we lost the war. So that that tells you that there's an X amount of time that has been skipped over. The UNSC is broken down to probably its most minimum form, which then kind of for me, if you've been following the leaks, sort of confirms on some of the characters that are going to be returning, some of the characters that are not going to be returning, unfortunately. Not um, me. I don't get to, I don't have a chance to see that. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, but, I'm, but yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I want to see I'm pretty movie. excited because another thing about the, the open, the way how the game is, they've shown that essentially the campaign is a bit of an open world campaign where you're able to kind of decide and choose what kind of missions you go on first. Uh, you'll have your main missions and then you'll have like your side post missions in a way. Sort of like, you know how we play Destiny and we jump into like a world and there's like different missions here oh, and yeah. there that we can do and there's like public events and stuff like that. That's what it kind of seemed like to me. Open world. Um, yeah. al although I, I would put it a little more akin to uh, um, the Lord of the Rings game that came out. The, the Shadow of uh, that Shadow of War that just I came out recently. I didn't even know about that. Um, definitely it's on game pass if you like if if you have game pass you could download it there and like kind of check it out to see what i mean but it kind of seems like it's going to have that type of aspect on open world where the world is open to you but like there's certain missions that you have to do in order for you to continue on with the main story so they had that they shown off the, the newer guns which is nice the grappling hook which i mean i was all talking with other people about it speculating about it back and forth we had like full-on I'd say like a half hour conversation about, about like what you could do with the grapple hook. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was it was quite some time. But um I'm pretty excited for what they shown. Campaign wise, they basically said, Hey, remember Halo 5? All that mess is gone. Now the main enemy is the banished. You worried about the banished? The banished are a faction that came from a game Halo Wars 2, which did get a lot of praise when it came out. For me, I'm not really a real-time strategy gamer. I have a friend of mine who's really hardcore into it. I've been playing the games with them. I kind of have my limits sometimes with them. As a matter of fact, he's actually texting me right now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow, man. It's like he knows. He's like, yo, I hear yeah, you talking know, right? about me. Yeah, something that's being recorded. but <laughs> Yeah, but um, I'm, I'm kind of excited. Uh, I'm sort of disappointed because we don't get to – it seems like we're not going to be able to get to fight Atriox fight against this new guy who kind of took over the banished which atriox was like the big bad in halo wars 2 and now it's not there which a, i'm not gonna lie man I, I i want some revenge on atriox specifically because he's really annoying in halo wars 2 and he's probably the reason why i don't like the game as much as i should and i was like all right so he's gonna come into my realm and he's gonna get sniped and i'm just going to teabag him the entire time so that was my <laughs> thing about it but yeah overall i did enjoy it i did like it now, the fact that Microsoft started off with their biggest gun, the question was, how can they even everything out throughout the rest of what they were going to show us? So let's, let, 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 and let me ask you about that. Like, what did you feel about the other games that kind of came right after Halo's 12-minute demo? <laughs> oh, so all the other games that shown after? No. Uh, well, I mean... I I did write some of them in order. I did skip a few because, you know, those are the little ones. I'm going to be honest. Like, tell me why. <laughs> I, I didn't even write that one down, <laughs> but I had to write it down because obviously we're going to talk about it. And, um, yeah, so that one I'm not into. Um, I know uh, the state of DK. I know this is part three. I never seen part one, part two, but you told me that was on Game Pass too. But, again, it's not my type of game, so, like, I'm really picky. And, um, but well, I am highly invited. So, um, Alana Pierce says she's excited for Fable. She said, put it in her veins on Twitter. I said, nah, <laughs> I don't want that game in my veins. I want to have grounded in my veins. All right. That game was, looks amazing. I'm definitely going to play oh that. God. Um, it's, it's going to be uploaded, um, tomorrow, I believe, if not Saturday night for sure. The game will be coming out next week on a Tuesday, right? 
Uh, yes, yes. Yes. So I'm gonna be playing that. I might. No, I won't. I won't be able to live stream it since Xbox took away though. <laughs> I'll I'll be live streaming sure. it on Twitch. But you, there you go. Why would be live streaming it? You all could catch us on there. Um. Oh. Yeah, I'll end up giving you my my uh my info so you can put it down in the description and that so then people know where to go and watch us. There you guys go. You see, we got you guys covered. You know, this is the best part about this. You know, um. So what about you? Cause I have a I could go on, but I want to see what your opinions are. All right. Let me let me get the games that were trash out the way. Tell me why trash. Uh, for me, the the trailer for Fable trash. I don't care. <laughs> I've played all the Fables before. I know that's I know that's gonna be a bit of a hot take for some people, but Fable throw that in the trash bin. Um, gunk, throw it. It's it's literally what the title says. It's gunk. Throw it in the trash. <laughs> <Damn. Yes. laughs> Yo, I did not expect that. I was... <laughs> Oh, no. What else? What else we get? Oh, we got um, oh, State of the K three. I got tired of zombie games. I'm sick and tired of zombie games. There's only one specific zombie game that I would be excited to play, and that's World War Z. That's out on Game Pass. It's free. I don't really have to worry about it. I play it for a certain amount of time, then I toss it out, out to the side because, for the most part, I don't like zombie games that much anymore. I grew up literally in an era where it was just nothing but zombie games everywhere. You know how weird it is? You're in the middle of the summer and there's like five other zombie games coming out all at the same time. Meanwhile, later on, you have in the same year Call of Duty zombies coming out. No. 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 No more zombies. I'm done with zombies. Give me something else other than zombies. I'm sick of watching slow, half-decayed people <laughs> chase me down. It's boring. Except it's, for it's done. There's, there's nothing... No. that There's the thing with World War Z. You play as four players. There's thousands of zombies chasing after you. They are running, yeah, and running. they are they are literally a title. Like, you remember in, what was it, episode two of Game of Thrones season eight, where, like, they had, like, a <laughs> tidal wave of, like, the undead that came? That's literally what they do. Oh, hell like, no. <laughs> I never watched so, it, but I just laughed at the fact that you named the season and the episode. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> but going but going into state of decay, I don't care. Throw it in the trash. It, just, it doesn't matter. Grounded, I'm excited to play. It looks really fun. Um, Forza, you know what? I'll, Forza Motorsport, I'll put in the trash too. All right. Here's why. I only play Forza Horizon. I have one of the biggest communities in Forza Horizon Four right now, which is crazy to say because I haven't even been touching the game. But the fact that I have thousands of players constantly asking, I get recommendations at least twenty to thirty recommendations an hour a day that is insane i don't know why i don't know how but it just happens and it all started because i was helping a few people go through submissions together with my awesome goofy looking anime cards that i have but <laughs> same here i love anime cards i'm i'm a forza horizon fan like i i am so in love with the horizon series that motorsport to me is like a slap in the face <laughs> it's it's, it's it's just dull and boring. If I really want to get that big into a, a motorsport game like that, I'm going to play Gran Turismo. That's just me. Yeah. But but that, that's the thing, too. I put Gran Turismo and Forza Motorsport in the same bin. Toss those in the trash with the rest of the gunk. So <laughs> We're going to actually talk about uh, Transmurizo later. We, we'll get to that in a bit. But Yeah, yeah. Um, so then what's your thoughts in uh, the media? I mean, the medium. Uh, Medium is actually another game I was really excited about because when they first shown the teaser of it, I was like, all right, so this is some like weird Silent Hill knockoff. And then they announced that, you know, the composer for the Silent Hill games is actually working on the music there too. So I was like, okay, so it literally is just another Silent Hill game. And then they shown the gameplay for today. And I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. So I like the dual style that they gave us. The the one one side is like a regular reality, the other side is like an alternate like demonic reality, and you have to go and travel through both of them at the same time. So you're playing you're playing dual screens of whatever you do on either one you're doing on the other. So then you'll be traversing through one while you have the same type of walls and everything on the other, and you have to do everything exactly like a, a, the same way in order to for you to survive both realities because you need to survive both realities in order to go through the game. Pretty dope. I like that concept. 
it's new. I have never seen that before in any other game. So I'm down to play it. That's definitely up on my list for games to play. So for those who hasn't watched our uh, live stream reaction to the showcase, I was confused when I saw the dual screen because I thought it was like a co-op thing. One person gets the normal life and another one gets the horror <laughs> life. And I'm like, I, I can't do I can't do dual screens no matter what game it is. But knowing that <laughs> you are controlling both makes me uh, more comfortable, actually. And it seems like it's going to be somewhat of a lot of work since you have to focus on both, which I don't mind. And it's it's pretty cool, though, to like you have to focus on both, making sure, you know, one side is going to have monsters. Maybe the other one doesn't. I mean, obviously, they didn't show too much, but I mean, they showed a lot, but, you know, they, like not enough for me to know how it's going to be between the different worlds, which is, you know, just a theme as far as we know. And I like that. That's awesome. I do agree with it. I might actually play a little bit of it. So there's that. We'll, we'll see where it goes. It's definitely uh, up there in my list, though. War Warhammer. Um, never got into the series, so that would be in the trash to me too. Oh, uh, War, War Warhammer GTFO. Um. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> it it literally looks like GTFO, Cause, but cause for Warhammer. <laughs> If you guys check out the live stream, which I highly suggest it, because I low key thought I I you know, was the first one to call it. I said GTFO is coming to Xbox, and then <laughs> it hit us with that Warhammer. I'm like, wait, what? But I'm gonna call it now. All right, I called it before. It's gonna go to Xbox eventually. I know it will because it's it's on a beta for the PC. It's gonna go to Xbox. It's no doubt. I mean, if it does, it'll be nice. We'll see how it happens. But um, I mean, I'm I'm pretty excited about this because I am um I am. I'm not invested in the lore for uh, Warhammer 40,000, but I know a lot about it because I do have a lot of lore heads that like I would work with or like I would talk to and they would tell me all about it. And there's actually uh, an animation that's up on YouTube that you can go out and and it's like eight minute animations of like seeing characters from Warhammer sort of interacting with the world. And it's really dope. It's really awesome. I'll probably end up sending you the link for that bio cache. I just got to remember what it is. Okay. And then, like, I, I do like that aesthetic where it's like, okay, this is a four-player co-op game where you're kind of going in, and it seems like the type of game that GTFO is, where, you, like, you go inside this dungeon, you have to find ways to escape with your group type of thing. So that's pretty awesome. It's pretty nice. I mean, we're not getting GTFO, but we are getting this game, which is fine with me. And it gets me more into the world and the lore of 40K. So I'm I'm pretty pretty down for it. All right, so that I just I just hit me with another theory since you said that. Since a four player crew up in a room trying to escape, that's gonna be like a next trend, like uh, like um, battle royale. And then the way what you said about the uh, little people, big world. Yeah, like <laughs> it was so weird. Please, guys, go make sure you go back and watch the live stream for our reaction because it was kind of hilarious. But um. It was like because it was around the time what was on gunk, right? It yeah, was, it was gunk, gunk. Where like and, um, the small grounded. person in this gigantic <laughs> world, it's like this person's like three foot four, and then like this gigantic universe, and they're just like walking around with like little gauntlets and stuff. They're like they look like they're about the size of me, six foot eight. And I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But like, it was it was so dumb to me. It was so like I, I didn't it, it realize just, that. <laughs> and, and as soon as he said that, I, I looked at the, some of the notes I did for the future of gaming for PlayStation, and I'm like, Little Big Planet. I'm like, oh, Little Big Planet started this. <laughs> <laughs> but it could have been a dope uh, theory, but I know that's going to go straight to the trash because it wasn't. But, you know, Little People, Big World, it's going to be probably a thing. Oh. Um, Wildlands? That was another game, Wildlands. Uh, you heard me already. I, I said I was interested. I, I was interested in that game. Uh, it, I like the art style. I like the feel that it gives you. I'm into games like that. That's why I got into games like Ori and the Blind Forest and whatnot. So I'm pretty invested in a game like that. So I'm pretty excited to try it out. Um, I can't say the same. I, I didn't get that vibe. But like I said, I'm a picky gamer. So, you know, my opinions can't really be that good. But, you know, I have some for <laughs> like, you know. I mean, there's some things I'm good at, like. Just accepting how, what it is. I mean, for me, for me, I have trash opinions anyway, so I, I just go along with whatever I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much the. Um... Oh wait, no, that one game with the uh... dang, what's the name? Uh, Stalker Two. Um, 
Stalker has always been a PC game, so it's kind of weird to see that it's going to be going to the Xbox. Like, Stalker 2 is out right now. You can go play it on PC right now. So for the fact that it's coming to console on Xbox, I'm like, eh, it's a horror game. It's a horror, horror, sur- horror survival game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah. even talk right now. Yeah, no, I, I don't blame you. When I say that, I feel like I'm saying the other word too, so I have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah uh if you guys yo i'm never gonna say what i said about that game you guys gonna have to check that out because it was hilarious all right but um uh, treacherous effects <laughs> now before the trailer i saw they show like a, a a montage of everyone playing an xbox which was pretty cool yeah, yeah, and yeah. that one guy with a treacherous suit coat i called it out next thing you know the game appeared i'm like that's amazing and it's a you said a sing-along now is it just music, or do you have to sing in the mic? And it, it, it well, <laughs> uh, the way how the game seems, because I was looking more into it, it kind of gives me that whole vibe of um, yeah. I'm trying to think. What was the freaking? What was it called? Well, basically, it seems more of a rhythm type game that you're able to play together. And if you're on the same type of flow and melody with other people, they join into your game so you oh. guys can keep on making bigger points. Okay, that's, that's, that's what amazing. it seems like. All right. I mean, I can and, that, so. and I kind of got that vibe because the game of Tetris 99, which is on the Switch for free, um, it's a battle royale Tetris game where like you're competing against other people. And like the more you build, the more you throw onto another person's spot, so then they can mess up. And then you keep on doing that until there's one person left. That's why that's why it's made as a battle royale. So I kind of feel like they took that concept and turned it more of into a co-op thing, so you'd be able to work with other people together and like team up to make better points. That that that's what it seems like. Which is lit. Yeah, it's it's pretty lit. Psychonauts two. That was another game that they shown. Cybernauts two. Yeah, Psychonauts 2 was another game they shown. Because uh, remember, they had Jack Black, and I was telling you Oh, about, yes, like, that's what I was trying to mention. That. And then I was like, oh, yeah. I, I got to keep it going. So I had to listen to the game, and then that's when Stalker 2 came out. Yeah, uh, Psychonauts 2, um, I'm, I'm excited for it because I played the original, and I like Double Fine. Double Fine makes a lot of really fun, goofy games with, like, really meta-like jokes in there. Like, you guys like Deadpool? That's cool, fine and dandy. Deadpool's been out for 30 years. He's been doing everything he's been doing in the comics. It's nothing new for me. Psychonauts, I feel like they do it better just because it, I feel like it's a little more of an intellectual type of thing where their jokes are a little more adult heavy, but then they also can resonate with people who actually understand what they're trying to say. It's, it's, it's actually a really good game. And on top of that, it's Jack freaking Black as a mote of light singing to you, which is hilarious. I love that. Jack Black doing anything is always fun for me because I love Tenacious D. I love Jack Black. And Jablonski Games, if you don't know his YouTube channel, make sure you go check him out because he's stupid hilarious. He plays with his kids sometimes. He he does a lot of goofy things. Uh, I remember one time he actually went into like a riff off against Thor for some weird reason. It was so <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> yeah, the song is pretty lit. I like that song. That song that they showed with the game is way better than uh, Bug Snack song. I'm just saying, you know, that's we don't talk opinion. about bucks. A lot of people did. I don't want to talk about it because you know a lot of people <laughs> talk about it. And like I don't know why it's so hype, man. Okay, it's cool. Give it to your five year old, but uh, you don't need to hype it out for yourself. <laughs> I mean, oh, and the other game that kind of falls into the same category as Tell Me Why. What was it called? Um, um, As Dusk Falls. There we go. That game. Um, the one where it's like choose your own path type of story. Oh yeah, game. that one. I remember because I yeah. Yeah. Uh, Throw that in the boom. That's along with the gunk and everything else. That's trash. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. If you really, if you really want to play all these games, you can all play them on in Game Pass when it's, once it comes out. Other than that, throw it in the bin. Don't even waste your oh, money. Oh yeah, true. I mean, it's free. So if you want to check it out before you uh, have bad reviews like us, because we we we. Just and remember, guys, trash. disclaimer: it's only free if you have Game Pass Ultimate, which they're they're pushing really hard because they took out the all uh, the standalone subscriptions for just Xbox Live because they want you to buy the new subscription for Xbox Live Ultimate Pass. They want you to have the ultimate pass so you have a huge variety of games you'll be able to play and choose from. 
It's a really good deal, though. It's really good. Exactly. Don't fight it. Just join it. You know, it's it's gonna be the greatest thing. There's nothing one of us. bad about one it of for us. real. Like, okay, so <laughs> just a quick story. I myself went on Xbox, and it's been a very long time. I'm not gonna lie. And I noticed my name says Gold Live, and I'm like, wait a second. Just like a couple of days ago, it said Ultimate. What happened to my Ultimate Pass? Well, I had the promotion to have it for like a dollar a month for like three three months or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I had to cancel the other one. I didn't even have to cancel it. They canceled it for me. That's how lit it was. I went to the website, <laughs> changed my subscription plan, and it's good. I like it. You know, there's no benefits. Way better than PlayStation now. <laughs> so that's going to I mean, right now, Xbox has the better deal when it comes to a variety of stuff you're able to do. Not just with the games. It comes to Spotify as well. It comes with a lot of different things. So it's pretty dope. For real. Amazingness. Now... All right, so com- let's compare the uh, showcases. Are you ready for that? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's let's go ahead and throw down with that. All right, so Ubisoft forward. We're going to s- s- keep that away for a split second. I don't know. If, Ubisoft uh... trash. Just throw it all in the trash. Wait, Next. what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Man. We won't touch on that subject. I I think I already did that. I don't know if I did. Yeah, I did. I did it on my uh, other show down there. I did the Ubisoft. Uh, I mean, I did the Summer Games recap. So, all right. Between PlayStation 5 and Xbox, uh, E-Fuse, I don't know if you guys know what that is, but, you know, it's like a Lincoln for gamers. Anyways, uh, they put out uh, um, a poll who had the best showcase, PlayStation 5 or uh, Xbox. They didn't have the option for both. I like both of them. I'm not going to lie. Um, the best highlight for PS5, I could say, for me, was Little Big Planet because I grew up on that game. I enjoyed it. Um... Everybody was, I remember the hype. Everybody was like, oh my god, GTA 6 is going to happen. And it was like, nah, psych, yeah, I got GTA 5 again. And this is the <laughs> first game, if I'm correct, went through three, three generations. Three separate generations. Yeah, right? This is the first game? It has to be. 360 and... PS3, Xbox One, PS4, and now PS5, uh, Xbox Series X. That's wild for a game to last that long. And that I just goes to show it. how much care. Oh, yeah, that's sorry. a wait. Sorry, sorry, I got like a random. I got like a random oh, touch okay. right now. Uh, but um, that just goes to show like how much um greatness is in the game itself. For real, no matter how oh. much money grabbing, hungry they are, you know, we still gonna like it. But I mean, it's optional, of course, you know, and it's not Rockstar fault. It's Take Two fault. I learned that now. And um, oh, the most game I'm hyped about that beats every other game. I don't care what people say. Samurai Jack. I can't wait to play that. That's made by Adult Swim Games. And no, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited for that game too. I'm pretty excited for for Samurai. For real, like I didn't expect it, and when they showed it, I nearly teared. Um, Ratchet and Click. Most people are hyped about it. I somewhat grew up on the game, but I never finished it. I remember playing it. Now, here's the funny part. Because you mentioned you grew up on Little Big Planet. I grew up with Ratchet and Clank, so I'm more on that side with Ratchet and Clank. Like, the games are... The games are incredible. Like, especially the older ones. Like, Up Your Arsenal was, like, one of the best games. Like, the the stupid puns that they had for, like, the titles. Like, Ratchet and Clank going commando. It's like... (laughs) I I probably didn't even pick that up. (laughs) Like, 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 no, like, no joke. The the stupid little things that they had to kind of like just just the little side jokes in the games were always really fun. And then on top of that, the weapons and the environments that they made within the games were always amazing. So I'm pretty hyped for Ratchet and Clank. This one, right? Even though it's more of a tech demo, it also shows just how much variety you're capable of putting into your PlayStation game. So really, it's setting a standard for every other game. At least for me, no, like it, right. it really shows. It really shows like the type of stuff that you're capable of doing. Because the fact that you're able to warp into different dimensions, into different worlds, and without any crazy loading screens, like that's actually pretty awesome. It's pretty exciting, and I can't wait to see how that game feels. That for me is a game seller. Like that, that's a system seller for me. So I definitely would want a PS5 just off of that alone, which is more than I can say because I didn't really have that game that I really wanted to jump on the PS4 for that much. Like, I saw that Ratchet and Clank came out for PS4, but it wasn't, like, the type of Ratchet and Clank good. It kind of felt more of a reboot, and I didn't want a reboot. I wanted an open, like, 
a, a, an expansion of the world, which I guess that Ratchet and Clank kind of was for some people, but for me, I, I needed more. This and new Ratchet and Clank coming out for PS5 is is, is, is it, it hits the money with ray tracing. That's amazing. Yeah, I I saw it. I mean, I, it, I mean, damn near every game in the next generation is gonna be so having ray tracing. So that that's that to me isn't even that even that big. Ray tracing has been around for like four years now on PC, and we're just now catching up. So <laughs> okay, so you know how you you, you somewhat unhappy with the uh, Forza Motorsport? Actually, no, you're fully unhappy because he said throw that in the trash. Yeah, well, in, now, in all honesty, you can just throw it in the trash. It's, it's fine. And now you got tr- tra- uh, Grand Turismo 7. Oh, put that under the trash. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't I, care. I thought, I thought you said you would, you said you prefer that, though. If I had to choose between the two, I would rather play that because I know it's a full-on simulator. Forza Motorsport kind of tries to go that fine line between super simulator and not so super simulator for me i'd rather be a super simulator than not but at the same time i i, I just don't i just don't like, like realistic races like that anymore if it's okay. not an open world racing game i i don't care okay. that, that's that's my that's my whole thing all right that's cool that's cool um oh so you know how you said you're done with zombies right mm-hmm. well there's village a Resident Evil game that is not zombies. Here's a game. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay. Um. So I know. I know this is a crazy comparison between the two um showcases, but Xbox got more lit with the countdown than PlayStation. I I'm just saying, like the PlayStation music was trash. I know probably for uh, copyright reasons. Maybe I don't know because. Xbox loading screen. I was pretty late. I was jamming into that countdown. I waited oh, yeah. for an hour, everybody. I was with everybody else. I know a lot of people is waiting for that hour countdown, but <sighs> so that's my take. So far as everything, that's what I have. Like honestly, like that's the game. Wait, that no. I mean, they they also had Horizon Forbidden West. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, I didn't. Because that's another big seller because I'm a huge fan of the Horizon Zero Dawn game. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen in the Forbidden West. It's going to be really exciting. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Um, That's a classic. This one dude I follow on Facebook, he literally bought a PS4 just for Spider-Man. And now he's just going to get the PS5 just for Spider-Man. You know what's funny? He doesn't really need it because apparently you can play it on the PS4. It's not. It's not PS5 exclusive. Oh, true. So, I mean, he doesn't necessarily have to buy a PS5. So, were you one of those it, people... It... Oh, my fuck, go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. So, were you one of those people that got confused if it was just an add-on, or was it the game itself? Or you knew it Oh, no, no. No, no, so for me, I knew immediately what it was when, when they shown it, because the reason why I know, because they, they kind of made it blatantly obvious that every game that's going to come out that's going to be a mainline sequel will have a sequel, like number to it all of the little things in between are gonna have like this is basically a chapter within the spider-man game that we have now which is great i mean it would have been weird if like oh yeah you played this whole spider-man game with spider-man peter parker and now we're just gonna say fuck the, the, forget peter parker we're gonna go miles morales on that 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 wouldn't have worked for a lot of people because it would have made the story a little uneven they did introduce uh, Miles Morales within the Spider-Man game for PS4. True. So this new expansion coming out to play more as Miles Morales will actually open up uh, a sequel where you're able to play different uh, different Spider-Man within points of view of the story. So then you'd be able to get a bigger picture of what's going to be happening next. They're actually uh, setting up for something really huge later on, which I'm excited for. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I didn't get confused either. I knew it was going to be its own game. People were tripping. I don't know where that started. I don't know how people got confused on that. But it's just like how I got confused with the medium. So I can't judge too much. <laughs> um, Yeah, so that's the uh, best uh, things I have. Really. So, so for me, just, just to kind of put my opinion out for that one, which one of the two were, was better? They all hit the check marks that they needed to hit. They 
They've shown the Halo campaign, which not surprising because you're not supposed to reveal everything all at once. Like you're not gonna blow your load after five years and then like and then just have people like slowly deteriorate on the hype. Like you can't do that. You gotta keep things exciting little by little. And they did good with that, which is great. Um going back into the PlayStation, you know, oh here's your Ratchet and Clank, here's you know, here's your racing game, here's your platformer, here's your adventure game. Like they 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 just hit those check marks. What I'm really looking forward to for both consoles are the games that come out like a couple years later. Like I want to see the next God of War, the next chapter of Gears of War. You know, like I, I'm I'm more invested in to see what's gonna happen there. Yeah. And I'm pretty excited for that. So we'll we'll, we'll see how. It goes. I'm pretty sure there could be more stuff coming down next year. I have faith. Oh, there definitely is, but like. For for now, if you're really looking into getting uh, a new console, it's because a you want to upgrade, and b you're capable of taking a lot of the games that you have currently to move to the next. For example, GTA Five, you're gonna be able to move from PS4, PS5, or Xbox One to Xbox Series X. Destiny Two, you're able to do the same thing. Like there's gonna be a lot of games that we're able to play now. They're gonna be able to move to the next level, and that's that's the exciting part because if you remember, that was kind of the same way how it was for the 360 to Xbox One or PS3 to PS4 era. Because remember, we had Titanfall come great. out for the 360, and then you're able to move it to the Xbox One. Or Watch Dogs, when it came out on the PS3, you're able to move it to the PS4, so you can have the upgraded version of, of Watch Dogs with better graphics. True. Uh, you want to make a quick... Uh, you want to make a bet on which console is going to sell the most within the first week? Whichever one's cheaper. Oh. Oh, yeah. We don't even know the prices yet, so I guess that wouldn't make sense. Um... But, yeah, that's going to be the winner. Whoever's cheaper. Whoever's cheaper. (laughs) That makes sense. Yeah, I I have to agree with that. So, there'll be no competition on that part. uh, We'll just... We'll assume they come out on the same price. All right. It depends depends on what everyone feels. People feel like there's enough reason to go to the PS5. They'll do the PS5. There's enough reason to go to the Xbox Series X, which I feel like there is, absolutely. Just off of the Ultimate Game Pass. Just off oh, that yeah, alone. That's, right. that's more than enough reason. That is true. Because remember, you're able to take all of those games on there, on the Ultimate Game Pass, and you can play them on your Xbox Series X. Damn, I was going to say PlayStation was going to get the most, but now since you added the damn Game Pass, that's actually a card of W. I, I've been telling you ever since Game Pass came out, man, like, Microsoft basically set themselves he for victory. Has. Ever since he ever since they announced it, I remember you told me <laughs> this is gonna be like the most W and that they kept it going through all these years. It's never gonna fail, honestly. I mean look look at the, some of the games that they have now. They have Bleeding Edge, Ori Will and the Wisps, uh Minecraft Dungeons. These are just games that are just there. They have every Gears of War, they have Halo MCC, they have Halo Five if you wanna play, Halo Wars one and two. They have all the Tomb Raider games if you want to play them. For as much as I do not like anything when it comes to Life is Strange, you can play that on there too. <laughs> uh, oh, the like, series I picked up on was uh, 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 Azuka. I highly suggest you guys to play that game because that game was fun as hell. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I think there's uh, as soon as I finished part one, like it took me two weeks to finish the game. And they uh released the next version of the they re- released the next one to game pass so i'm thinking every two weeks they might release uh, zuka that would be pretty amazing and then they have all the Z- uh, zuka series on there so uh what else did we not talk about for crossfire x which i mean that's oh okay. yeah crossfire uh fantasy star online 2 uh well i i like i like I like Fantasy Star Online. It's a fun JRPG, JMMORPG, so it is what it is. Avowed was another game. Oh, Destiny 2. I know it's not new, but they were talking about how there's going to be, it's going to be on Game Pass and including the expansions. The expansions. Yeah, the, the, the moment they said you, you have all the expansions on Game Pass, I'm like, man, I've been forcing everyone to buy the expansions for no reason then. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hell no. Nah, welcome, Bungie. Nah. I've, been, I've been doing some good sales for you, Bungie. <laughs> For what a sponsor this guy. Tell them. Bungie, I have been around with you since Halo 1. 
I have been selling your game since Halo One. <laughs> Say use promo code promo code um what's that word you use? We're gonna use promo code Yeetus to in get, order for you to, to get, get free uh <laughs> Expect free ultimate game pass. <laughs> oh shoot! I oh, know. I don't say that now. That's uh, no. <laughs> you know what you guys could do though? I think if you, I, I'm pretty sure the sale is still now. If you join, you, you could pay one dollar a month for three months. You know. <laughs> yeah. If, if you have an Xbox and you're interested in trying to move on to like trying other games in that, just before you even get it, look at look at the list. They have an entire catalog of games you're able to look at, and if you're interested. If you want to get it started, you can pay that one dollar for three months, and then it's going to be fifteen dollars a month after that, which is fine. Like fifteen dollars a month for literally all those games you're able to play, plus on the PC, plus Spotify, plus like there's a lot of other little trinkets in there as well, and you get some really good sales. Wait, like, I had misheard that. You said I, I heard you say it, but then it didn't dawn to me. But now I hear it. You said Spotify. You didn't check your Ultimate Game Pass, did you? Nah, I didn't. <laughs> So I have go uh, back Spotify Premium. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've been all oh, hell about... All right, so I know what I have to do after this recording. I have to cancel my Spotify <laughs> Premium. You've oh, been sleeping. hell no. <laughs> Damn, I, I I feel goofed right now. I, I Gooby oh, goober. Damn. But then my email is different. Oh, no. I know they say once you do that, you can't change it. Uh, people i mean screw it just make a new one <laughs> yeah, i know uh damn anyway so <laughs> <laughs> dang okay that's cool it's whatever um but that's cool all right let's go so that's the reason there's, to there's, get game pass people yeah there's, there's many reasons to go out to get game pass i i highly recommend it for just about anybody, like literally anybody. So there's no reason for no hate, and if you're gonna throw hate, you're just gonna look goofy. You're gonna look like a clown, you know, and you're gonna be like the clowns from Rockstar for uh for the uh, Red Dead Redemption, thinking they were gonna do an update for that game, you know. There's more than enough reason to get into PlayStation. There's more than enough reason to get into Xbox. If you're already invested in either or, you can stick with them and expand your horizons when it comes to your entertainment. But if you're looking to go to the other side, there's more than enough reason to do so. I guarantee there's a game over on the other side that you would want to play. If you're an Xbox player, you want to play God of War. If you're a PlayStation player, you want to play Halo. Like, it's it's really just that. And if you're rich, just buy both. I mean, you're already rich as it is. <laughs> or if you got a sugar mama who, like, buys you stuff, but she's, like, 190 years old, I mean. Uh, oh, you've seen that meme, huh? <laughs> Oh, those memes no. are everywhere, bro. Oh, dude, those I memes are everywhere. It's hard to find it, but I saw it once on Twitter. You got that PS5? Yeah, I got that PS5 <laughs> secured. Now you guys can get that both of them secured. What you mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Nah, I wouldn't suggest that. Don't do that, people. It's not cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's not good to solicit your body for video games. Um, Although, I understand if you do. Uh <laughs> Hey, I mean, I, I'm not I, gonna tell you what to do. I just that's my input. You could do you. <laughs> oh, here, here are more games you can actually play on the Game Pass. Um, Payday Two is on there. Mad Max is on there. A bunch of Lego games is on there. Holy crap, man! That's a lot of Lego games, actually. This... Man, that's a lot of Lego games. It's like Lego Batman, Lego like this is, this is a lot of. You love sponsoring Game Pass, but like you're not getting paid. Don't don't make them think. You're getting paid to say this. Do you make it seem like you're getting paid? No, nah, no. Nah, like, uh, I'm being serious, though. Like, I love it that much. That I want other people to go ahead and give it a try, too. So, all right. So... I mean, definitely a bunch of games on there. Saints Row 4, stuff like that. You're able to go ahead and play. And... All right. I'm just going to keep on throwing games out there. <laughs> I'm going to open up a tab right now. I'm going to show you guys real lifetime if you guys don't want to do it. Unless if you guys already have. Let's search up Xbox Game Pass. So if you, you click here, right, everybody, you guys click here, and then um, they have a whole section, literally, in bold, says uh, Games Library, so you click on that, and then look at this, everything, uh, tell me why, <laughs> this is not Game Pass, we got Fallout 76, Golf with Your Friends, um, 
look at this list, you know? And then and if you go here, there's um there's 19 listed. There's Tekken 7. But then you also got more on PC. Like, if you have both consoles, just get it, you know? You have games like Dead Cells. You have Outer Worlds. You have, like, there's a huge variety of games you're able to play in Game Pass. Like, when they put Outer Worlds on Game Pass, I was so happy. You have no idea how happy I was. I was ecstatic. Ah, I heard that, that Kingdom hard, Come Deliverance. Game. Like, a game like Kingdom Come Deliverance, if you never played, like, talk about, like, a, a live-action role-playing game. Like, that game was insane. Sea of Thieves, that's another game you're able to play. How do I forget Sea of Thieves? Sea of Thieves, sea of Thieves was Okay, so the two games that made me get an Xbox, Seas of Thieves was there. I didn't buy an Xbox yet because I'm not going to buy a whole system just for one game. But And it was before Game Pass was a thing. And then um, Forza came out. And then the, it was at the, when we were looking at the uh, sh- the other showcase, I forgot what, where was that in the Microsoft store? I forgot well, well, yeah, that was the E3 showcase from last yeah. year. So the uh showcase for last year that's when i was like i'm gonna get one you know i have no reason to i have no reason not to get one but i didn't get it that day don't get me wrong but I you why don't just hit me another another really good game that's on the game pass that just hit me and i'm not even looking at it <laughs> you have you have all the kingdom hearts games on there oh, okay you have Kingdom Hearts Remix 1.8, Remix 2.8, and you have Kingdom Hearts 3. So you're able to play literally every Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 1, Chain of Memories, Birth by Sleep, 352 of Two Days. Like, there, there's too many games. But you're able to play all the Kingdom Hearts games. <laughs> you could play Disneyland Adventures if you're a Disney fan. You could play Killer Instinct, which is probably one of my favorite fighting games that ever came out. And, like, not too many people, like, people sleep on that game. That's a really good fight. Oh, uh, I remember playing it when the, uh, when the Xbox One was new. Um, my uncle got the very first one, you know? Had, yeah, because like, it was pretty fun. Special, uh, thing on the controller. Yeah. Yeah. After Party, I forgot what that game was, but I think it was lit. I think I had pretty fun. Don't they have Hollow Knights on there too? Wait, I just realized isn't Rocket League still on there? Rocket League is still on there, isn't it? I haven't seen it yet. But Devil May Cry Five, which is probably one of my favorite games of life. Actually, no, Devil May Cry Five was my favorite game. All right, uh, we got Rise. That game was pretty awesome. I played it a little bit. I didn't get to finish it though. Funny enough, I think that was like one of the cheesiest games they put. <laughs> I, did, I did not like. It. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, Ahsoka, Ahsoka Zero, that's the very first one, in case you guys didn't know that. That's literally Yakuza? Akuza. Yeah, I've been saying Yakuza it wrong. Game. Yeah, you've been calling Akuza. it Ahsoka. It's Yakuza. It's Yakuza. 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 Yeah, you see, they got that, uh, Kwawi Me. <laughs> what? what? I don't speak Japanese. Oh, they have Hellblade? They have the original Hellblades on there right now, isn't it? I haven't came across that one yet. I just see Dead Cells, the one you mentioned. Uh, Dead by Daylight. With an add-on. Uh, oh, you're in the D's right now? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. D's? Oh, no. I just chose um all games, and I'm on page 13. Near Automata and stuff like that, too. So, I mean, there there's games definitely played. Games definitely. But long story short, just, just basically get it. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't be researching it for you guys. You guys should have already been doing this once we first mentioned it, you know? That's how that's how it should have been. <laughs> Doing the extra work for the people. For real. Oh yeah. Um if you're like, well, I wanna play like a game like from Rockstar, Red Dead Redemption 2 is on there too. So there, you're welcome. <laughs> Story mode is great, guys. The multiplayer is like don't even go on the horse, multiplayer. So. Horse simulator the game is on there, you can play it. Goat simulator why I know something on weird? PC though. Why why I know what's weird? I don't like Red Dead Redemption. It takes way too long to start up. Like, I feel like it takes 15 hours for you to actually enjoy the game. I think that was just part one, though. Part two was pretty No, 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 no. I'm talking about part two. Part two is literally, like, it takes for me 15 hours to enjoy well, I didn't game. die, so <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> Did I die? No, I don't think... I it's think it's hard to die in the done, beginning. Though. Like, it, it's pretty it's pretty well, easy to go through the like, story. Throughout the whole game, I don't think I did. I played it twice, too. I you played on normal all... difficulty? Oh, true. <laughs> yeah, I bet you didn't. I did, though. I did. Nah. Dad did normal. I, I probably did easy just because. No, okay. When I play solo, when I play uh, 
campaigns. I play on easy, dude. I'm trying to get through it. Like, oh my god! Speaking of campaigns, that is like really hard to get through. You do know they have the complete edition of Witcher Three on there, right? The reason why I didn't name it because I actually bought the complete edition of Witcher Three a while it was on sale, but then they threw it on Game Pass. So I'm like, huh. oh, I <laughs> think. <Dang. laughs> I mean, I didn't buy it full price. I, I, I bought the game complete edition. I bought yeah. it for like 10 bucks. So oh, okay. That's it. better. I mean, at least, you know, they have more money to continue on with that uh, Netflix series. <laughs> yeah. But, oh my God, man. Like, do you have any idea how long it takes to beat The Witcher? No, I never finished it. There is so much stuff to do in that game. Like, literally so I much stuff to do. I bet you that I only did like 10 missions and I just gave up. So you're probably within the first two hours of the game. <laughs> the game is the game is a hundred plus hours long, and you're only like two plus hours. <laughs> Most likely, like I can't, I can't. I like I was trying to go back, but remembering the controls, I'm like, nah, forget it, because I might as well just start <laughs> over. <sighs> yeah. So. Well, yeah, man. I get. I guess that's everything to talk about. I mean, good games to be looking at for down the line. Um. A, a lot of good reason to get both consoles if you're so looking to actually look looking to get one or the other. It just depends on the group of people that you're friends with, what they play, and what you're willing to put down. That that's basically it. If you want, you can wait for a full year until the next one. I mean, the PS4 and the Xbox One are still going to be supported regardless. You know, yeah. a lot of the games that are coming out, especially on the Xbox side, every game you're able to play in the Xbox Series X, you can also play in your Xbox. One. Which is amazing. And if you could wait so, a year, just wait two more years, and then you could get the pro versions. It's it. I think the pro versions would probably take like three years this time. Oh, I think three. it'll be like the pro version. Well, yeah, because yeah, because because yeah. if you think about it, it's it's like a seven to eight year lifespan between consoles. So you have to hit it within mid year. So about three four years actually makes sense. True. So okay, quick question though before we end it up: Are you gonna do right. digital or physical? I'm always digital. They're just, there's, I'm not even questioning. Digital everything. All right, me too, me too. I mean, and all, but here's here's my argument with it. Why am I going to go out and buy disc, download the disc? What? Wait, hold on. Oh my god, man! All these people messaging me today. This guy's racist. Did you see the Xbox? Thing? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They must not yes. follow you on Twitter. Clearly, they don't. Wait, did you even tweet anything throughout the thing? No, I be besides over to um Tales. Oh, uh, Anthony, it's about it. Yeah. Huh. I'll I'll probably post. I'll, I'll start posting some stuff, but like more of my thoughts and that. Um, but it was it was pretty exciting to watch everything. You I'm guess. I'm I'm pretty hyped for everything that we got we got shown, except for all the games I threw in the trash. <laughs> Which was quite and a lot, them, Sally. But here, here here's funny enough. Uh, and for anyone who questions, oh, you didn't throw that many games in the trash. Can that that you didn't mention for the PlayStation? Every game that I didn't mention for the PlayStation thing, uh, clearly it wasn't worth mentioning, so they're all in the trash too. So don't even give me. For the record, <laughs> people, I probably didn't write all of them down, so you know I would have mentioned it. You know I'm a PlayStation by heart, but you know I'm still pushing that campaign for all the gamers. You know this is for the gamers and only for the gamers. So. Vile Cash knows how good my memory is. If I don't remember you, <laughs> <laughs> basically, yeah, that's true. Because like. Yeah, you remember season eight, episode ten? I think it was <laughs> two, episode two. Oh shoot! <laughs> that, that that I I renamed that episode the bowel movement because oh my, that's a whole other conversation yeah. on its own. We'll, we'll we'll talk about shows another day. <laughs> People, well, Mara, thank you for joining me. If you have anything you want to share about your future projects or something like that? Um, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I can actually announce that uh, since Mixer is down, I'm kind of homeless when it comes to streaming. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to restart my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash MarleyMar7. I'm going to probably end up switching it to MarMar7 so then you guys will be able to follow it easy. But um, I'm going to see if I can grow my followers again because I'm, I had like almost 100 followers on freaking Mixer and now I'm back down to like less than 25 so <laughs> it, this is this is going to be interesting um i'm going to be playing a variety of other games as well i just picked up uh ghost recon breakpoint even though it's kind of making me want to jump off a bridge right now 
Um, <laughs> but tell them why. I'm going to be playing a lot of Destiny. I'm definitely playing, like, everyone knows, like, especially with my Clan Beast mode, I play a lot of Destiny. I help other people out through their campaign as well. I still have to uh, beef up my Hunter because my my Hunter, I think he's still at, like, 10-10 or something like that. So definitely check out the channel, twitch.tv slash marlinmar7. Make sure you check out all of Biocache's content, Biocache Gaming. Basically, all across the board, Biocache Gaming. Um, I'm pretty sure at this point, he might have OnlyFans. You might look it up. He actually would. Like, I was like planning OnlyFans. on it. So, guys, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. Like, I'm a little bit, like, not Bro, nervous, all I'm saying is people, people have a hand and foot fetish. That's all I'm going to say. So, no, like, I was going to do one and then just make it, like, quick scope. Quick scope videos. You know, you're paying for my quick scope videos because that those are price worthy to watch you know <laughs> I, I don't know man unless you're homage that that's a hard sell right there unless you're homage that's a really hard sell <laughs> no nah, but i just that would be hilarious just to throw out there but um all right yeah dang i i forgot i was gonna say something because you oh he plays on veteran people all right so this is why he's having a, a tough time with uh breaking point Honestly, it's it's probably the controller too because I'm using a third party controller as well. Oh. Like I'm not using like a Xbox One controller. I'm using a third party. It's probably why too. The controller kind of sucks. So all the links is gonna be in the description. Uh, make sure you look at the description because there's gonna be a lot of links and it's gonna be a lot of clicking. But I promise you, each link is gonna be uh, worthy. To There'll be a random click. one for memes down there. There'll be just just a bunch of links. Just click on all the links. Yeah, trust me. None of them will give you viruses. I keep it safe. And then there's also going to be a link. I mean, not a link. Yeah, there's going to be a link to the Game Pass just so you guys could have a quick access to it. You know, be a quick, there we go, you know? Oh, my God. And I, I just remembered it's time for me to go because I really need to uh, cancel that Spotify uh, account before I get charged. And, <laughs> yeah. Pot loading shots, got a lot from the block. Put in work, then I shop. If you try me for this knot, boy, you go meet the Glock. Four nick, riding round, probably one in the top. In my hood, what it is, boy, pull over, stop. If you fuck around, up shots and probably won't stop. This the life I live, pay the price, you probably would not. See, my mind always on motivation, I could be a trainer. Teach you how to work it and always see all the angles. See, this business, it done been all in my blood, boy, it's good. On my nine to five, serve a nigga quick, then count up. See, you running.